What's going on? I hope you're doing well. Today, I got seven Facebook gaming tips for you today that are going to get you more engagement on your streams. If you're having issues getting people to talk or interact with your streams, this video is going to help you out. As always, I want to thank you guys for stopping by. Look, before we get into this video, I really want to ask a favor of you guys. If you could, start getting your questions into the comment section below because I would love to do a viewer comments video at least once a month. And then I'll take your questions and answer them to the best of my ability. And then at the end of the video, I'm going to give you my three favorite pinned comments that I've used to get more engagement on the stream that you can use today. All right, tip number one. Start using your analytics to engage with your audience. Now, what I mean by this is if you go into your analytics and you look at the ages that watch you, the type of people that watch you, they show you what your your viewers' interests are, the time of day that they watch you, and their age. Start putting the puzzle together and figuring out the best way to relate to your audience. This is really important for engagement because then once a viewer feels like they can relate with you, that connection will keep them around, keep them talking, and start getting things moving for your stream. So it's really important to watch your analytics and find out what age range you're looking at. For me, I'm a retro game streamer, so I have audience that is very 90s pop culture. So a lot of times I use that to my advantage when I stream. I'll reference Seinfeld, or we'll talk about Nickelodeon, or old cartoons, or any of that kind of stuff. Find out what your age range is, or what people are into that like your stream, and start using that on your stream for engagement. All right, tip number two. This is going to seem kind of obvious, but for some reason this is a problem with a lot of small streamers. Practice the hell out of reading your comments when we're live. I don't know how many times I've stopped in on other streamers and I'll write a comment and I'm sitting there waiting and waiting and waiting and I don't get a response or it might even be up to like two, three minutes before they see my comment and respond to it. Meanwhile, I'm the only comment that has come on. What happens when we're starting off on streaming is we get used to not having a lot of comments. So then we go on and we go live and we're not actually paying attention to it. You have to, have to, have to always be focused on your comment section because anytime somebody comments, and you don't respond, they're probably going to be a lost viewer that won't come back. So do yourself a favor, have your chat somewhere where you can see it very clearly, and as soon as you th see that thing move, that is your priority. It is always your priority to pay attention to chat when you are a smaller streamer. Once you get way bigger, and it's almost impossible to keep up, well then you can make different changes and adjust there. But in the meantime, you need to be reading every comment, and you need to be responding to every comment. And a little insider tip, if somebody asks you a question, make sure you answer their question, and then have another question for them to keep them there talking to you. Something I do on my stream all the time. Tip number three, make sure you set up a Streamlabs account to have alerts going off for your streams, such as likes, shares, stars, but also start using variants so it's not always the same alert going on. A little bit of change in that and using that reference I talked about in tip one, the relatability, if you can add GIFs, or any kind of reference to something that your audience would appreciate, this will tie in more engagement. They'll start liking those alerts or laughing at them or responding to them and talking to you about it. So have the variants going. It's very basic to use this. What I do is when I set a variant alert, I set them all to frequently. And when you set all your variants to frequently, they start working one at a time after each other. If you don't do it that way, then they kind of sporadically go and you might get locked on one variant for a while and it gets kind of annoying. So I set mine to frequently and that gets it going evenly, and it's not always the same alert popping off. Another little inside tip. I guess today's video is full of insider tips. Tip number four, I've said this in other videos, I have to say it again, you have to practice talking for engagement. I know, I know it seems like a basic thing, but here are some insider tips for doing improv exercises. Yes, you heard me right, improv exercises will help you out tremendously in this department. There are tons of videos on YouTube, but here's a simple thing to get you guys started. Start practicing talking for no reason. Look around your room, find an object, talk about that object as long as you can. As soon as you start getting lost on that, find another object, talk about that. As soon as you have a thought about something, talk it out loud. Keep talking over and over and over when you're driving, when you're by yourself, when you have a moment to focus in on yourself to just talk. Keep practicing this. Film it if you have to. Watch if you're talking later and see how you did when you filmed it. Talk into a camera. Keep practicing with that eye contact to the camera. The more you do this, the easier it'll become. And slowly over time, you will become a better streamer just for doing this. I promise you, it takes a lot. It takes a lot of streams. It takes a lot of practice to get better and get talking. But as the song says that most of us know, ain't nothing to it but to do it. And here's a quick little insider exercise too that you can do with this to practice more improv. Right now, I want you to take seven seconds and talk about apples. Go.
Stop. See, seven seconds is a long time. And there's a reason why I'm bringing up seven seconds. So practice that seven seconds because we're going to refer to that in the next tip. Tip number five, you only have seven seconds to get the attention of a new viewer. So think about that with the apples thing, seven seconds. Now go back and if you want, go back and watch that part of the video and actually feel how long seven seconds of dead time is. It is a massive, massive break in momentum. Now, yeah, you might have gameplay going on, but that is not engagement. Never rely on your gameplay to be your engagement. Only focus in on you, the streamer. Seven seconds is all you have. Start watching your older streams and trying to find those breaks that are seven seconds or longer. If you can find a bunch of them, that's a very easy place to start making improvements on your stream for engagement. The better you can squeeze that down and have less dead time in your stream, the better your engagement will be just in general because you will be talking and anybody coming in and casually watching you from a distance might catch something in their ear that you're talking about and start talking to you about that subject, whatever it is. Another insider secret, make sure you talk about stuff that you know, something that is honest, something that you know a lot about. Those are the easiest things to talk to strangers about. It's the easiest thing to keep going in your head. Whatever relates to you, you should be talking about. All right, tip number six, start using challenges on your stream to keep people engaged to watching through your stream. One thing I've done on my stream is I decided if I die three times on this game, I'll play this game that I hate, that I know my my viewers love, Surgeon Simulator. If you, ha if you don't know this game, it's awful. It's a terrible time. But my viewers love watching me struggle through this game. Try to figure this out in your own way, but make little challenges for yourself and get your community involved when you're streaming. As soon as you get a couple people in, it can be fun to have these little things at stake to change the outcome of your stream. All right, tip number seven. Now this is the exact opposite of what you would do on Twitch, but at the end of your stream, you should have a just chatting section, or if you're using Facebook terminology, a uh, hangout. Why the hell they call it that? But use a just chatting section at the end of your streams to cool down your stream, talk to the people still viewing it, Tell people when you're going to be on next. Tell anybody what game you got coming up or what you got going on in your life. This is a great opportunity to get real with your viewers. Talk directly to them. You have your full attention to the chats. You can go back and forth. It takes a little bit of time, but get in the habit of doing this. And then when you go raid somebody, really ask and embrace that. Hey, we're going to go raid somebody. Make sure you help them out. It, 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 I would really appreciate it. And the streamer that you go raid is going to appreciate it. But that cooldown section is very important to building building a little bit more of a relationship with your community. All right, and remember, I said I had three pin comments. Now, pin comments are the comments that you can type up right away and pin in your chat so anybody coming in will see them right away. These are engagement pin comments that I use on my stream. These are the three that have worked out really well for my stream. I don't know if they're going to work for you because the era and everything kind of has an effect on that. But I think if you know your age group or whatever, these have been pretty broad and have sparked up a lot of conversation. So here's three real quick pin comments that I've used on my stream. Pin comment number one, best childhood cartoons. So I've already limited this to like Nickelodeon or narrowed it down to, you know, whatever, or 90s or 80s or whatever. That was one that brought up a lot of conversation and people were just chiming in that I'd never even seen in my community before. Uh, I think it, it's it's bridging a gap so people feel comfortable talking to you because you have brought up a topic that is easy enough to chime in on. And maybe you, you like the weird cartoon that they liked, and then you got a connection with somebody that way. It was, it was a great time using that pin comment. All right, pin comment number two, best little Debbie snack. I know. I don't know why this one went over so well, but this was a very, very popular pin comment, and I got tons of feedback on it. People were fighting over the different types of little snacks, these chemical cakes that we all ate at one point or another. Maybe you don't, I have no idea. For some reason, this one was a big, big winner on the chat and people love talking about it. I don't know why, but I'm sharing it with you guys. And pin comment number three was best worst superhero power. So people were chiming in just randomly with like chaos, like, oh, you can shoot spaghetti or you can you know, have uh, eyes that can fall out and roll around and see, but they just get covered in dirt and everything. It was it was a real random fun kind of, you know, and Thumb Taco is my stream. If you, if you ever want to see it, the script, uh, my link is in the description below. Come say hi. But my stream is very random and chaotic. So like this one worked for me. Like I said, it might work for you, it might not, but feel free to use these. Uh, come up with your own. You should be using pinned comments. This is also another one of those added secret tips 
in these videos that I like to do. And like I said, if you guys are liking this video, please give the video a like and consider subscribing to this channel. That way you can keep up with my weekly content. I'm making us all better streamers. These videos come from my own experiences. I'm not a huge streamer, but I'm doing pretty well. And I like helping out other streamers, especially beginners, because I know what it's like to start and grind and have nothing happening. I, I've been there. I wasn't there that long ago, guys. And I think that's where these videos are different from other help videos on YouTube, because a lot of people are really big and maybe they don't know the little details, why things work and why things don't. So like I said, if you like it, like it, if not, whatever. And don't forget, get in the comment section, ask your questions, because I do want to do a viewer's comment video at least once a month where I can get your questions in. Maybe your question will be on the next video. Until next time, take care.